Yeah, thanks Olivia. I'm getting a lot of use out of this. And Elena. My mom gave me this excellent, we're really close. It's in jest. My mom gave me this excellent green tea flavored with blueberry for Christmas and I've been drinking it a lot That's better. Guys, I'm exhausted. I'm just tired. You know those weeks where you get that twitch in your eye and it won't go away? And this eye has been doing that for about four days now. So if you see me just randomly doing this in the video, that's what's going on. But it's Friday. It's February the 9th. It's February the 9th. Um, I have not filmed since last year. Sorry. I'm so sorry. I have, you know, when you're just, you get home and you're like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to film today. And then you sit down in your stitching spot and you just stitch and you're like, I'll do it tomorrow. And the next day, I'll do it tomorrow. I got to get on a better routine. Part of the issue is I haven't really felt like I had a lot to show you guys because I've become a pretty monogamous stitcher. Oh, that stuff feel really low. Let's sit up. A really monogamous stitcher this year. Um, I have three things to show you since my last video, only two of which are from this year. So I'll start off, I'll show you where I got on my Christmas Quaker that I was working on. I'm not sure I got much farther than I did before. Um, this is the piece I started when I was, there we go, at home on Christmas vacation, a Christmas Quaker by Bygone Stitches. I was doing this in a hank of silk from Dinky Dyes. It's not gonna take up all of this, I just haven't cut it. And that's where I got. This is me holding it up backwards, backwards, holding it backwards. There we go. That's what we want to do. This is why I haven't filmed. <laughs> That's where I am so far. Uh, Hank of Dinky Dye Silk, and this is on Picture This Plus Oaken. If you've wondered what Oaken looks like, this is what Oaken looks like. When you put it next to other browns, it kind of has a pinky tone to it, but not like where I'm like, uh, pink, yuck, gross. I'm not stitching on that. It's nice. It's a nice fabric. So there's that. <sighs> so glad it's Friday. It, it's just been a long week and a long couple of weeks. Then I moved to All Creatures Great and Small by Barbara Ingmo Designs. I decided that that was the piece that I wanted to ring in the new year with. I decided I wanted to get a lot of progress on this piece this year. And I'm going to insert a picture here of where I was with it when I started it last year. So that's where it was when I got started. I worked on this piece almost all of January. I got obsessed with it. And this is where I am now. Yeah. So I'm trying to see through the fabric. Make sure I'm showing you guys. Now, the things that I'm changing on this piece, it's obviously on a different fabric. Um, I'm doing this on Picture This Plus Haunted in a 36 count. 
I'm changing the verse um, because I'm not religious. So I'm putting a Walt Whitman quote on here. It says, love the earth and sun and the animals and your, and it'll say over here, very flesh shall be a great poem. And then I'm going to put Walt Whitman's name underneath it because I want to make sure that I attribute that to him. Uh, other things that I have changed. Nothing. I'm doing this not in the anchor threads, but in DMC. Um, I took out the weird alien kid and put in a buster cat right there. So there's a buster. And I did not put a face on the moon because I did not feel like that the moon should have a face. But other than that, this is pretty much as charted. And now that I'm looking at it, I kind of want to work on it some more. Just get it finished up, get it framed, put it on the wall. Really love this piece. I only put it down because I had to go to my Hawkburn Hollow group the last Saturday of the month in January. I thought, okay, I can't bring this to Hawkburn Hollow. I have to bring a Hawkburn Hollow piece. So then I decided that I wanted to pull out my village of Hawkburn Hollow and work on it instead of Halloween at Hopper and Hollow because this is my oldest whip. When I put it down last year, I was completely done with the top half. I had the first six blocks done and that was it. So when I started it at the Hopper and Hollow group, I was starting on block number seven. So I took it off my Q-snap so I could show it to you guys. I finished block seven and now I have a pretty good amount of progress on block eight. Filling in the grass on block eight. And once I get the grass completely filled in, I'm saving the yellow of the mill to do last because I don't know, I just really like that color. Buster! Sometimes he gets lost in the foyer. So anyway, and I changed, this was originally charted to say Jacob's Grist Mill. So I changed it to Jim's Grist Mill. I don't know if you guys remember or not, but instead of Opal's Boarding House, I changed this to Emily's Boarding House. So they're right there near each other. I want to finish this this year. I want to finish it. And I want to get this on the wall. That's just kind of the, the mindset that I've had. I, I want to see some finishes. There's pieces that I enjoy stitching on, but I want some finishes. These two will be done. Black Sky will be done. Mermaid's Folly is going to get some huge progress. Um, what else to talk about? Let's take a tea break. I am getting together with some stitchers next weekend. We're spending the weekend together. Kind of a, it's not a retreat, just like mini sleepover, I guess. Um, so that'll be nice and fun. It's much needed. Um, my mom came and spent the night last weekend. She and I did some shopping together, and she finished her cross-stitch piece. And at the end of this video, I'm going to insert a video of her talking about that. So that's, that'll be fun. Is this really only going to be like a 10-minute video? Yeah, yeah it is. That's what happens when you only work on like two pieces. Bags. Bags. Um, I have been sewing, but, but nothing that I've put up for sale. I've sent out some gift bags. And by that, I mean people that I really wanted to send one to that I thought of something that I thought that they would like and would be meaningful for them. So I sent those out. 
there are still a few similar to that that I need to send out. Um, I'm planning to do a bunch of sewing this weekend and finish up my bags that I want to gift to people and then I'm going to try to focus back in. But you guys know this isn't like my job. <laughs> um, my job is social work and I spend a lot of time doing that and sewing can be a stress relief but so can stitching and sometimes I just want to come home and stitch. Especially after a week like this one. So that's that guys that's it progress on those pieces I really want to start a couple of things but then again I don't want new starts because <laughs> I want to see finishes but I really want to start his eyes on a sparrow that will be my next start I was going to start it on January 31st with some other ladies but it is it, it didn't happen have all the floss right there in my ottoman. I have all the fabric right over there in a box. I have not chosen the specific fabric yet. It's me being lazy. I need to sort my threads out and pull the ones for that project, put them on the fabrics, decide which one I like, and put some stitches in. That's all I need to do, and I haven't done it. There is also um, some pieces I almost broke. I've spent money on threads but I almost broke my stitch from stash with patterns in that I almost bought some scarlet letter charts. I don't have any scarlet letter charts. And there are a few that I really love. And there's a new one that has come out that's really gorgeous. It's really intense. I'm gonna put a picture of it in here. Several people have shown it to me. Um, Jessica of Schoolhouse Stitcher has shown it to me and she's in love with it. And there's Buster. Shelly on Instagram, who I think is Diary of a Stitcher, just posted where she bought it and she's trying to encourage people to stitch it together and do a sow. What is it, buddy? Why are you yelling downstairs? Just for the sake of yelling it's really tempting it's really tempting to buy it and get that started Buster what do you think should I start it should I just buy it should I break my don't hiss at your sister that's not at me that's at Dharma See, you guys think Buster is so perfect and sweet and wonderful. Sometimes he just does not want little sister around. Dharma. I, I know, he's the one being a douche, but you walk on so he's better. Are you better? Hmm? Are you still just mad? You're just lying beside me, looking at her, being angry. So there's that. Um, should I buy it? If I buy it, I'm probably going to buy a couple more other charts because no chart travels alone. I only spent money on threads this year. It's mid-February. Maybe if I finish something. You guys let me know what you think. Splurge and get it. Treat yourself if you finish something. Or you don't need any more charts. Don't buy anything regardless. Why are you so mad? Dharma. So we're going to have a weekend together. <laughs> Where we love each other 
and we relax and chill and realize that Buster sheds on everything and it's gonna be it so inserting video here of my mom um, everyone who ever said that they wish that they had Buster um, now you're probably reconsidering that because I pet him and I have this and sometimes he's a dick so there's that Olivia happy stitching guys go floss yourself I'm sorry it's been so long and I'm sorry I'm so out of the habit and this video sucks so much and is so short and convoluted and all over the place and I really didn't have that much but hopefully I'll have more soon and I'll try to get back in the habit if there's anything that you guys really want to see or have me talk about let me know because Sometimes it's a floss tube where you just get buster hair up your nose. Sometimes it's a floss tube where you get buster hair up your nose. You just run out of things to talk about. And you're like, I stitched this. This is my progress. And, you know, I don't want to do a video like this sometimes and just bore you guys. But anyway, there's that. Enjoy, Mom. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Okay, here's my cross stitch that I just finished and my lovely daughter Emily framed for me. You she, helped. Not much. <laughs> <laughs> I told you if I'd done it, I'd slammed it together and it'd have been okay. <laughs> but anyway, I'm proud of it. It took me about a year to do it in between quilting, but very proud of it. Let's look up close. You got this as a kit? Oh, yeah. An artiste kit? It was a kit from Hobby Lobby, but I don't think I'd buy another kit. Why didn't you like it? Uh, not enough fabric left on it. And thread. Very limited thread. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. And we got a mat cut yesterday. We took it with us to Hobby Lobby. Bought the frame. Got a mat cut. Show them the back. I'm proud of the back. Oh, yeah. Professional. Yeah. Yeah. Jim had bought me some um, double-sided framing tape, acid-free, that's, I think, yarn tree that we got it on the foam core with because there wasn't enough fabric to wrap it and pin it. Right. And then we covered it in craft paper and more acid-free tape. And I chose a barn wood frame for this, mm -hmm. which I think really complements the cross stitch. I think it's beautiful. I can't wait. Okay, the camera is moving because Dharma is hitting my arm trying to love <laughs> on me. <laughs> um, all right, Dharma. Where are you going to put it? Do you have any idea? I have no idea, but it's going to go somewhere in my crowded wall. Oh, hold on. I'm going to pause it, and I'll get the charts that you picked out to do next. Okay, we're back. Okay, I just wanted to show everybody this beautiful pillow cover that Diana made, and I appreciate it. Thank you so much, Diana. Very pretty, and you did prove me wrong. We have some old-looking paper. Paper well, pacing? Uh-huh. And I have chose two more that I want to do next. After I probably get my cataracts off. Yeah, yeah. Mom really struggled with that last cross-stitch piece because she cannot see up close well at all anymore. Or at a distance, I'm blind to these cataracts. <laughs> but soon enough, and I chose this. Yeah, she went through all of my stash, and those are the two that she pulled out. Yeah, I thought they were pretty neat. I love that Harvest Delivery. It's one of my favorites, but um, Paulette Stewart, that designer, does a great job. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like it. And hopefully in a year I may have them both done. <laughs> I am quilting a double ring wedding quilt or a double wedding ring quilt. Uh, so it's going to take a while. That yeah. thing, I should have started it when Autumn was two years old. And she's 20 now? She's 20. <laughs> Very slow. Okay, anything else you want to say? Nope. Nope. Goodbye. <laughs>